Hey, it's Lucas here at Honby Glass. Today we are going to be making cane for pen nibs. It's going to be part of three different videos. The first one is the making cane. The second is going to be shaping the nib. And the third one will be sanding the tip of the nib to allow good ink. Anyway, let's get started. This is what we're going to be making. It's an unstretched version of the cane. And these are the tools and glass you're going to need. I'm using a 20 millimeter rod attached to a 10 millimeter rod, a bunch of 4 millimeter rod for the channels. I have a piece of 10 millimeter rod here. You'll probably want a second one as well. Some tweezers and of course my trusty Zippo. Use a Zippo. They're much better than Bix. All right, so we're gonna heat up our 20 millimeter blank. This will get it nice and warm so that we can add our eight different lines of four millimeter glass, which will give us our channels to absorb the, the ink. After we've got it warm enough, take a minute just to get it going, but we're gonna get a nice heat base on it so that it won't crack. All right, so now it's ready. Let's grab our four millimeter rod and we'll start striping on the sections that we need. I like to clean off the tips. It's a personal thing. You don't need to do it, but it does make things look prettier. Start out with one line. And as we do this, you push with your right hand as well as your left hand. So. I'm pushing onto the gl other glass while I'm pushing the other glass up. And we'll do this eight times, switching from one side to the other. Now that you have it there, switch the sides a little bit. So make it into quarters, and after the quarters, I know I'm speaking a little ahead of time, but after the quarters, they're going to do into eighths. And once you're done with the eighths, pick one of the lines and put a little dab of clear that will denote your beginning point. Here, it really doesn't matter which one actually was your beginning point. The important part is that you pick one of them and start from there each time. I love clear glass, but being that it is clear, you can have problems finding which one was your starting point. And adding this little extra dot of glass will make it much easier for you to remember which one is your starting point. So here, what I'm doing is I'm speeding it up. I know for most of you, this is gonna seem a little bit ridiculous. I'm 
I want to show the entire process which I'm doing. And the thing is, is that it does take time. And I've sped this up to three times normal the normal speed. And it really does take a lot of time melting. But it's not important that you see every little bit. I mean, you can even tick it up another notch here on YouTube. It's not a big deal. But basically, you're going to build it up to the point where it is the equivalency of half the diameter of which you're working. So right there, I've got a 20 millimeter rod. You need to build it up to 10 millimeters higher, maybe even a little bit more. It's not going to hurt to be a little bit bigger than that. That's fine. But what I'm going to be doing in this next process is just building it up over and over and over again, going around and around and around until I have at least 10 millimeters above the surface. And this will allow me to have a very nice channel for the capillary action to absorb ink into the channel of the pen. And with this deep of a capillary action available, you'll be able to write full pages with a single dip. And that, that's pretty big. Anyway, that's what's happening here is that I make an entire rotation around the piece, building it up. Then I heat it up. Then I build it up. Then I heat it up. And that's what's going on here and you know a couple little touches here and there at the end just to make it so you have a little bleb sticking up you don't have to it's not really that big of a deal anyway that's what's going on here We just keep going on and on and on, building it on up. I know it's a little bit tedious, but the thing is, is that you have complete control of what you're going to have for the final product. And that's actually pretty big. I've tried using the pre-made ones. I don't care for them. This will allow you to actually create what you want. You don't have to do them as deep as I do. You can add other colors. You can do all sorts of 
things in the bottom of this. But I have found that this has given me the best pen nibs possible. And, you know, I love them. They write well, they're strong, they have pretty much everything I want in a glass pen nib. And yeah, I highly recommend this technique. There's a couple other ones. As always, there are various different ways of doing it. You have a thing where you can push your glass into it and stretch it out. You can do buy them pre-made. It's up to you. But this is my personally preferred method.
Well, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos as well as our Instagram. I'm streaming on Twitch three times a week. Check out my channel for the times, as well as I got a Discord set up for any videos you want to see or just chat about anything, as well as our website, which has the newest stuff available. So go check out the merch there. Anyway, thank you all for watching.